everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new series about what is in my monthly Ipsy bag. I thought it would be really fun to start this. Let's get right into it. So right away first off, this is what the bag looks like. It's gold. I love this little zipper detail. It's so cute. The first product is from, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but <laughs> you guys can see it's the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer and it leaves your skin feeling so smooth. It is so hydrating and it smells amazing. Right? The forehead. The cool thing about it is that not only is it a primer, but it's also super hydrating. So it's also a moisturizer. All right, I don't know if you can see the difference, but my skin is literally glowing after I put this product on. Okay, now that I've shown you guys that product, everything else in here is like a product you do after your base. So I'm just gonna go off camera quick and do my base makeup and then I'll show you guys the rest. All right, now that that's done, we can keep on moving. So next up is this eyeshadow palette. It's super cute, has little flamingos. And on the inside are these two cute little flamingos with these two gorgeous shades. So I'm going to go ahead and just put those directly on my eyelids so you guys can see how they look. I already went ahead and primed my eyes and everything. So, there you go. Put some in my crease. Another thing I love about this stuff is that there's absolutely zero fallout. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Go ahead and blend that out. And do the same thing on the other eye. Alright, so that's that really pretty red color. Now we'll go on with the gold. And just put it right on the bottom there. Alright, next up is the Seraphine Botanicals Berry and Juice 100% Vegan Lip Gel. And it is in guava. First of all, it has like this really slight shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really pretty. And it smells so good. You can kind of see just nice and shiny, kind of like a lip gloss. Really reminds me of a lip gloss. A lot of similarities there, but that's not exactly the same. And next up, we have more eyeshadow. This one's the Araceli. All right, so I'm just going to go with the brown. And just blend that in really nice. The colors, I think, just seamlessly interact and they just blend so nicely. There's that. Going with the, like, the darker brown shade. And just add a little bit dealer in with that light gold color. Kind of tones down the gold, makes it a little less bright and harsh. the two together so we don't have a defined line. Okay. Next up we have the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, but I absolutely love this mascara. It has replaced my old mascara as my new favorite. It just gives such a nice curl. Such nice definition to your lashes. So pretty. The other one. All right. Like I was saying before about those eyeshadow palettes, I almost forgot, but see how there is literally no fallout at all. Okay, next up we have Sugar Cosmetics in the shade Miss Rosa. So, here we go. I love this color. 
It's definitely a bold color. A lot more bold than I would go for on a typical day. But I could definitely see myself reaching for this for a special event or something more fancy. <laughs> this for a normal day, I don't think I would wear this, but it is super pretty. I really love it. All right, next up we have, again, Sugar Cosmetics, same product, just a different shade. This one is the Claire Redfield. Okay, note, it is not incredibly easy to get that stuff off, which is a good thing. Oh, wow. That is a very bright red lip. Again, really extreme color, but I could see myself wearing this to something formal. Another note, they're super matte. Like, if you look at this, it's not shiny at all, which I, personally, I love matte lipsticks. They're like the best, so personally, I love this. All right, next up, we have the Context Nude Balm. All right, now this stuff. You guys, this stuff is the best thing ever. It is my new favorite lip product. It is so smooth. literally the best thing ever smells amazing too and it just gives a little bit of color but it's also super sheer so it's not like crazy and last but definitely not least is the coconut milk hand cream really fun i've never received a hand cream from ipsy before you guys can see it comes out of the tube very thick and creamy not like runny at all it's super super creamy so it's super moisturizing I wear this stuff every day like no no joke I wear it every day it's so smooth makes my hands just feel so moisturized all right so that's all the products I hope you guys enjoyed this video again make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell have a great rest of your day